Good morning. I'm Mark Crampton, State Highways District Engineer, and I'm pleased to join our partners from both the City of Frederick and Frederick County in welcoming you all here today. On behalf of Transportation Secretary Pete Ron, thank you for being part of this groundbreaking ceremony as we celebrate a project with wide-ranging benefits for Frederick County, as well as the partnerships that made it possible. Today, we stand at the site where the new bridge will be built, a sign that transportation is truly about providing connections for businesses, jobs, and families. With us today, I'd like to recognize a few folks. Senator Ron Young, Delegate Carol Krim, Delegate Karen Lewis-Young, County Executive Jan Gardner, Mayor Randy McClement, City Alderwoman Kelly Russell, City Alderman Michael O'Connor, City Alderwoman Donna Kajemchak, and representing Senator Mikulski's office, Ms. Julie Abelwitz, and representing Senator Ben Cardin, Robin Summerfield. Also, the Frederick Area for, uh, Committee for Transportation, the FACT group, uh, specifically Paul Smith, its president. Uh, Bob and Mike Smariga, Tom Lynch, and Howard Levin. Providing this project will provide safety improvements that ensure safe travel for area residents and the safety providing and reducing congestion throughout the state. When it comes to championing state support for Frederick area transportation projects, we owe our thanks to our county delegation in Annapolis. And with that, I'd like to invite Senator Young to lead uh, the guest speakers. Senator Young. Well, thank you. It's really great to see this happening. Uh, some 40 years ago, we started planning Monocacy Boulevard to basically run from, uh, well, to loop the city back to the major highways. And this project is, was one of the most difficult and integral parts of it. It really opens up a lot of area here for economic development. It makes the route very much simpler for the residential areas out here. Uh, I think it's great. We're really looking forward to it being completed. It certainly is a safety improvement. Uh, having lived up here for six years and had to make the turns and all to uh, get back to where we lived, uh, this will be much better for the people that, that live here. want to make a plug for something. Uh, Delegate Cleggett and I were the only two members of the delegation that voted for the gas tax and uh, took a lot of abuse for it. Maybe you saw at some of the gas stations, thank Delegate Young, I mean Delegate Cleggett and Senator Young and remember them at the next election, which meant they wanted to get rid of us. But we can't have projects like this without the money to do it. Everybody, I mean, the last group of county commissioners would submit a hundred, hundred and fifty million dollars worth of projects that they wanted the state to do, and then they said don't raise gas taxes. Well, if you're going to have this kind of thing, we have to pay for it, and we have to pay for it somehow. Hopefully someday we'll come up with a separation for roads and for transit, but we haven't gotten there yet. But uh, it's important to do this, and this is where our gas tax money goes, and it's been a big boost to, uh, to Frederick. And uh, our past governor, when we made that vote, promised that this project would move forward, and it is, and we're pleased. And with that, I'll stop and say thank you. I would like to take the opportunity to invite Delegate Carol Krim uh, to come up and give some remarks. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I think we, everybody here can say that. We've planned for this for a long time again. 
Um, there are two things that I want to emphasize about this project. The first thing is safety. This will improve safety in this area. As you know, this area has had a long history of many accidents, and this interchange will improve safety in this area. The other issue is economic opportunity. We want to make sure that this area develops as much as we can in terms of economic opportunity and jobs, and this will help in that arena. So safety and economic development are, are the two priorities for this project. Again, we've, we've looked forward to this for a very long time. This is a very happy day for many people who have worked long and hard in the transportation planning offices. Ron Burns is here. He's no longer with the county, but he's somebody who worked on this project for many, many years. Robert Chin, thank you also for being here, and Devin Hahn from the city. There's so many people at the staff level that have worked hard, and I'm glad you're here to see the groundbreaking and us moving forward on this very important project. Uh, we're going to have another interchange come to Frederick County as a result of funding uh, from the state. That's going to be on Route 85, so we look forward to that groundbreaking very soon. So thank you very much. Thank you, Delegate Krim. I'd like to invite uh, Delegate Karen Lewis-Young to offer some remarks as well. Thank you very much. Today is definitely a very important milestone, particularly for all of you that have worked on this project in collaboration for years. It has been years that we were all united in saying this was one of the top transportation priorities in our county. And this is a wonderful example of what can happen when all levels of government local, state, federal, regional, work together in harmony for the good of our citizens and our community. My predecessors at the microphone have mentioned several of the benefits that this project will bring to our community. I'd like to add one more. This project will help unload traffic congestion when we survey our citizens about their traffic concerns and their transportation concerns, one of the top things we hear is congestion. And by, and by providing an east-west bypass to the north of the city, it certainly will help with that. So I will reiterate my predecessor's thanks. There are numerous people here that have been involved in this project for years. Your united efforts has made this dream a reality. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate Lewis. Uh, as, a, as a thanks from State Highway also to uh, the Senator and the delegates for being our advocates for getting our transportation projects funded and certainly in, in this area. Another essential voice in all of our coordination efforts has been both Frederick County and Frederick City. And as these areas grow, we recognize the importance of careful transportation planning and the values of those partnerships that we share with them. They recognize us when they directed design funding for this project several years ago. So I would like to extend a warm welcome to County Executive Jan Gardner and Mayor Randy McClement for their uh, remarks. County Executive. Good morning. This is a wonderful day and a beautiful day here in Frederick County. I think that truck ju that just went by and honked was honking it in support of this project. We should have put up a sign that said, if you support this project, honk now. We'd be hearing a lot of, a lot of uh, joy from our, our uh, local uh, residents and trucks driving by. I'm really overjoyed to be here today for this groundbreaking. As has been said before, it's been a long time coming. And I think this project is an example of good government. It's, it's been a project that's come up from the ground roots with support of citizens, certainly all the people in fact, and it's been a partnership between city, county, state, and federal government officials working together to keep people, products, and businesses moving. And it's been a great partnership. 
I'm pleased that as a former county commissioner to have partnered with the city of Frederick to provide funding to advance project planning and also to support preliminary engineering and design. And that helped to make sure that when money was available, this project was ready to go. The county offered to pay $2 million towards the preliminary engineering and design, and the city agreed to match that amount. And ultimately, together, we contributed $3.8 million to the design and engineering of this project. And this, why did we do this? We did it because this project was a significant priority for the county and the city. To address the safety issues, particularly those that existed just south of here at Hayward Road, uh, where we have an at-grade crossing. Now, I will say the interim traffic improvements that State Highway made made an incredible difference to that. And to support our BRAC plan, when we had the expansion at Fort Dietrich under the last base realignment and closure, we had a big expansion and a $3 billion investment at Fort Dietrich. And they're our largest employer in Frederick County with over 10,000 employees. So this intersection will help to bring traffic to the new nailing gate that the federal government built on Opossum Town Pike that really handles 14 to 15,000 vehicles going in and out of the base every day. And as an added bonus, this project will provide a new ride-sharing lot across the road that will allow residents on the north side of Frederick County to commute with others and to take the MTA commuter 515 line. And the partnerships continue. The city of Frederick is advancing the next phase of the Monocacy Boulevard improvement project that connects to this, and the county is proud to be a funding partner with them. Frederick County is a fabulous place to live and work, and our community partnerships um, are a great part of that. I want to thank our state delegation for their support, for their hard work, advocacy, and tough votes to bring needed funding to this project. And I want to thank our federal uh, partners as well, Senator Mikulski and Cardin and Congressman Delaney, who worked to, um, with Federal Highway to make sure the approval of the access brace happened on US 15, and also to put federal funds into the, federal, into the checkbook so that the state would have some of the money it needed for this project. I also want to take an opportunity to thank uh, the citizens who are involved, uh, county staff who are here and city staff who are here, who really do a lot of the heavy lifting behind the scenes for projects like this. And I want to thank State Highway. We've had a long-standing relationship with our district office. You do a fabulous job, and we look forward to continuing to work with you. So we're all in it together, and working together, we'll take a giant step forward to make progress for people and business in Frederick County. This is good government at its best. I would like uh, to op uh, offer the opportunity for Mayor McClement uh, to come forward and give some words. Good morning, everyone. One of the goods and bads about going last is I don't have to say much because everybody already said it. Um, I'm not going to repeat everything that everybody said because it's all, it's all great. The main emphasis that I'd like to say today is uh, the partnerships. This wouldn't happen if it wasn't for all the partnerships. We thank the state, the county, the Fed, city. We all did this together. It's well needed. We can't wait for this to open. A lot of people are, are anxious to be able to um, get to different parts of our city in a, in a more efficient manner. Um, I do want to, to, to note what Gardner, uh, County Executive Gardner said, is that uh, the city is moving forward and trying to stay on pace with the state in reference to Monocacy Boulevard Center Section Phase 2. Uh, the idea is to try to not be inconvenience our residents as much as possible. Uh, we did that a great um, partnership we did was the uh, Modder Avenue Bridge and TJ Drive intersection. We made the decision to move that forward, our part forward, so we wouldn't be inconveniencing the businesses and residents at that time, and this is the same thing. So we're on task, we're heading forward, um, we're hoping, crossing our fingers, we're going to be done, although you guys are moving pretty quick out here, this is pretty good. Um, but with that, I also want to mention, uh, as we said, we'll have the commuter lot up here, which is a, is a great asset for our commuters going down the road. Um, and also the fact uh, that this is going to allow access to a lot more of our public facilities, such as parks. Uh, we will make sure that it's bicycle and pedestrian friendly. You know, those are great assets that this project brings. And last, I do want to take the time to recognize uh, the city staff 
that has worked hard on this. And I know, I'd like to actually recognize them by name. In our uh, engineering and planning, uh, Tim Davis, Devin Hahn, Gene Walls, Zach Kirshner, Takeo Wakanso, in the DPW operations, Keith Brown, Augie Winterstein, Kenny Ott, Chip Stightley, and Ben Arneson. Um, all of those people put a lot of deal work into this, and we appreciate it. And I thank the citizens of the city, of the city and I thank the state and the county for all of your cooperation. So let's make this thing open. Again, much like we're blessed to have our advocates in Annapolis, we're also very fortunate to have our partners here on the local level. And, and this is just one of the many projects over the years that they partner with us on. So thank you for that. Uh, of course, we could not uh, celebrate without recognizing some of the, the people. And as was mentioned from the, uh, the county and, and uh, city levels about recognizing our folks, I'd like to take a few moments to recognize some others. Uh, the members of the FAC group, which was mentioned, the Frederick Area Committee for Transportation, for their advocacy uh, and support for this and many other projects within the county. Uh, from the state highway staff, I'd re like to recognize Rebecca Lichtenstein, Jeff Robert, and John Nair, who are bridge and highway design managers uh, on their and their, their teams that they work with. Uh, from our construction team, Scott Turner and Eddie Poffenberger, who are our engineers, project engineer and area engineers uh, on this project. And also our contractor, our prime contractor for the project, Kibler Construction, uh, represented today, I believe Victor Rogers is here. So, no, Warren, okay, thank you. And we also thank the neighbors along the corridor in advance because this is a massive construction project that will be complete, expected, weather dependent in the spring of 2018. But it's important to note that this is a major transportation improvement in the Frederick area and it will be an active work zone during that time. So projects of this magnitude do not come without their fair share of growing pains and impacts to the public. The next three years, this will be a particularly busy for road work uh, from all major capital projects of the one here today and also our mobile maintenance operations such as utility work, the mowing, the potholes and stuff that still needs to go on in addition to this construction work. So protect our workers at this location will also uh, be part of the Maryland Safe Zones program which is dedicated to reducing work zone fatalities and to bring speed awareness to the drivers. There will be a warning period for the speed zone uh, that will begin after Labor Day uh, on Tuesday, September 8th and last for a period of three weeks. After that time, actual citations will start to be issued on Tuesday, September 29th, uh, hoping that this will provide drivers an adequate time uh, to become familiar with the reduced speed limit through the work zone. We look forward to working with our law enforcement partners uh, on this safety effort. And again, I thank you for coming, uh, and I now invite our partners uh, on the project team to join me here and move just a bit of dirt uh, as we get this started on this great transportation project for Frederick County. So all the brave souls, come on. We have plenty of shovels up here. I was going to say, I can put that over here. I have to do the countdown. They don't trust me to count and shovel at the same time. <laughs> All right, so we'll go from five, four, three, two, one. Break the ground. Piece of cake, and it didn't rain. <laughs> Thank you.